Hey folks, I'm Laura tempest Zakroff, and this is Six Minutes of Witchcraft, which is a short video where I explore a particular topic related to witchcraft and witch practice. Today's theme is no one owns a witch. Alright, I'm going to set my alarm. So I had a recent correspondence with a young practitioner I had met at a festival out west, and they were seeking advice about the situation. And the short end of it, to keep it rather private, uh, is <laughs> anonymous for them, is that they had joined a group, um, and they were very excited to join a group in their area. And, it, and eventually, though, they realized it wasn't a good fit. Right? And that happens, right? You find a group, you're like, mm, eh, maybe we have we have different thoughts or beliefs or approaches, right? It happens. And so they approached the folks running the group and said, hey, um, I don't think this covenant's for me anymore. I just wanted to let you know because I'm going to go explore other options. And instead of being like, thank you, we hear you, good luck with your journey, they got no other covens are going to have you. Um, you, you shouldn't leave. And I read this and I was like, what? And then the more I thought about it, the more angry, <laughs> seething I got over this because it's such bullshit. And it's not like that I've never heard that before because it's actually a pretty kind of common thing. Um, at least like in the 80s and 90s, you, you know, kind of get this whole thing um, about the, the lore of the coven. And if you've read my work, you know that I kind of believe that the coven is not necessarily the most natural state of being for witches. I believe more in a communing or convening um, than, than a coven, but to each their own, right? Um, my advice to this person was get out now. Leave, right? Like, you're in danger, girl, boy, non-gender person, uh, because that's not healthy. The the red flags, I like, I should buy red flags to wave for these <laughs> these videos it's a red flag it's lots of them right because a group should be an opportunity for you to share with other people to grow um, to explore to feel safe um, to be able to overcome challenges right because there are good challenges the ones where you learn to speak in public or you, um, you you know do some sort of research that challenges you right those are good not good is the thing where you are uncomfortable in your gut, like you're feeling discomfort that you know this is not a good place for you. So when people say that you won't be able to join any other covens or that you might be hexed if you leave the coven, um, baneful magic will be worked against you if you leave, like whatever bullshit, right? Those are huge red flags. Those things are not going to happen to you especially if you follow your heart. You will find opportunities. You will find the right opportunities. I, have, I believe this because I have been doing this for decades as a witch, that the right opportunities do come. You have learning experiences and you have the right options. Um, so you will find the people you want to be with. So do the thing. You are sovereign. Right? You are a sovereign being. You are capable of making decisions. You should be able to respect yourself. Because if we, if you put the situation to a basic romantic relationship, right, where you're like, you know what, we're not in love anymore. I'm, I think it's best we break up. And the person says to you, no, you can't. You can't. I'm the only person who truly loves you. You will never find anyone else who, who will love you as much as I do. And and you, you aren't worthy of love, you know, basically the gaslighting and the nagging and the basic narcissistic tendencies of, you know, trying to make you feel like you won't find love. Um, and, and for some reason, staying in an abusive relationship seems like a great idea, right? It's a terrible idea. Don't do it. So, you know, if we don't put up with that, don't put up from any kind of magical group, whether it's witches, Wiccans, Druids, ceremonial magicians, right? Any of these things, you should have you should have the ability to be in a healthy working group that makes you feel safe, welcome, and not controlling you. And on the other side of that, like if you are the leader who is saying this to somebody else, right? Like one, stop watching the craft as a uh <laughs> <laughs> to be 
actual practice. <laughs> this is how I need to do the thing, right? Um, but you want to be able to create an environment. And if you're holding somebody back, how does that create a good magical working environment? How does that create a place for witchcraft to flourish? It doesn't, right? It's not a situation where you're thinking about the practitioner and the better health of the group. You're thinking about how many people you can control or who you can have power over or how you want to manipulate things. And um, that's fucked up. So not cool, not cool at all. Um, don't be that person. No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works, right? <laughs> You believe it is? I'm sorry. It, no, I'm not sorry. It's not. That's not how it works. So that's for the leaders. For you as a practitioner out in the world, trust your gut. Trust your instinct. Allow yourself to take care of yourself so that you can be in a situation where you're supported emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually in a way that is beneficial for your practice because you deserve that and you will find that. Don't listen to the threats that you're going to be alone, that you'll find no one else to practice with, that you'll, you know, thank you, timer, that basically you're undeserving to find other people to work with if you want to work with other people. Um, so don't listen to that. Listen to you. <laughs> you say, listen to me, <laughs> because I want you to be happy. I want... I want people who are on this path to flourish, to find their own sovereign selves, to honor, cherish, respect themselves, uh, and to love their practice and let their practice love them fully. So that's what I, I wish for all y'all. So enough of that. If you find yourself in such a situation, remember the red flags. Remember we're waving my invisible red flags right here. And listen to your gut. Right? Take care, y'all. Bye.